We mentioned Jeremiah Wusukoromoa, Brian Baldinger, former offensive lineman in the NFL, uh, with a video analysis of what JOK did against the 49ers. The stats said that the Browns' defense was great. They played better than that, including Jeremiah Wusukoromoa. This is as good a game as I've seen him play in a while. Like, he was everywhere. So was McLeod. So was Delpit. I mean, they all attacked the line of scrimmage. Like, they didn't let the 49ers breathe. You want to throw a screen to McCaffrey? There's JOK right there to shut it down. A lot of negative plays. A lot of plays on the other side of the line of scrimmage because they attacked the line of scrimmage. Like, there's JOK just getting in the middle of the suit, right between the eggshells and the coffee grinds, just blowing the play up. That's how they played the game. This is how you slow down this 49ers attack. Like, you attack. You press the line of scrimmage, and you attack. You feel it, you see it, you run, you chase down McCaffrey. It was big. And then they started, like he was everywhere. Like you watch this play. Like here he is in the passing lane right here. Like this is the first play of the third quarter. Ooh, that looked like Ayuk might have been open. Except JOK got the tip on the ball. And then he started coming off the edge. Like one big play after another. Like all these underneath handoff fakes, down goes Purdy. Down goes Purdy. Casey, between the eggshells and the coffee grinds, I know you wrote an article. Um, he's really kind of evolved into a weapon. Take us through that. Yeah, when they moved up in the second round of 2021 to pick him, it was because he was a difference maker, because they were thought to not have valued that position. Well, you don't trade up for a guy if you don't value their skill set. And JOK is, is unique in his skill set. And he's now he's getting to, to show what, he's, what he can do. And disclaimer, maybe he could have done this last year had the Browns had competent defensive tackle play, you know. But now he's being kept clean and he's showing you what kind of, of a difference maker he can be. He has elite range and versatility. His ability to diagnose and then come downhill and attack instantaneously is as quick as anyone in the league. And during the television copy, you could hear the announcers constantly praising Fred Warner, and rightly so. He's a phenomenal linebacker. The entire time they were doing that, JOK was doing work. He was out there just blowing up plays. He's he's phenomenal. He's he has an upper bound limit of a all pro linebacker. And I think that that's someone that the Browns need to strongly consider this offseason extending if they have the opportunity, because in this Jim Schwartz defense, he is a true weapon.